for illumined life to be birthed into form. I am the truth. I am the life. Hello there everyone and welcome to yet another video with me here today trying to do my best to come and show up so I'm doing a little better just by showing up I still don't have the best internet connection but I'm making things work right so um, I want to share something very important again regards to this Christ embodiment path as always because this is my path and is a path of those who will follow this path because it is being laden in a new way so I want to talk about these words that are being used so frequently now like the collective the collective the collective right shifting purging um, the path what people are feeling um, you know recently a lot of people when I've been sharing some stuff about my path have been you know commenting and a lot of the comments coming up have been about you know don't worry this is just a collective thing we're all feeling it everyone's feeling it you're not alone and um, you know, I went up to my meditative walk today and I received a very clear message what the Christ wants to talk about in regards to the collective of Christ versus the collective experience of what we call the Christ embodiment path. So first of all, you have to understand that the collective of this earth plane, as you know, when it comes to this earth souls, human souls, uh, souls that have been on this karmic path and this karmic cycle for eons of time, and those who are coming in to show the way as many volunteer souls and then those who are almost like um, at top of the guidance um, system because there is a narrative how the guidance comes through how the divine speaks through several of of these facets of life right so on the top are these like purest purest beings right who are here to holding the space and holding the energetics so that the new foundation can be established so what I received today is that there is no collective experience on this Christ embodiment path because I get very agitated when people start telling me you're not alone, you're not alone, you know, this is a unity field, we're all experiencing this, this is the unity. Well, in this new age tradition, as you know, a lot of it has been infiltrated. We keep being, um, what's keep being pushed upon us is this perception about the collective. And, you know, when you're going through challenges, at least you're not alone, even though you're physically alone going through challenges, because there's someone out there at the other part of the world going through very apparently seeming challenges that, you know, appear similar, whether they are truly or not, right? So that's not the truth. And I want to speak about and through the words of Christ, and I want to speak the words of truth because that's what I am. I am a Christ messenger and I embody this truth myself. So um, in the words of the purest teachings of the Christ and what's, you know, being shown as this true path, not the path that many would want to be about or what this path might be about, but it's truly what this path is. And that's the difference. So um, today I received a very clear message that the Christ path is truly the path where unity can only be experienced as union with God, the divine source. We're all trying to unify with the collective now, right? Well, we're all going through this as one. We're all going through this as one. And the reason why I get so agitated at this, because it doesn't resonate. And the Christ through me wants to speak about what this truly is. So when I say the Christ, I mean the consciousness of the cosmic Christ. And then there's many beings who are upholding this. Um, consciousness state so uh, sorry I'm getting a little bit like this because there's a uh, bugs and you know flies everywhere not because I'm not looking trying to look in the camera because I am in the middle of forest anyway um, so traditionally now you know it's like besides all the religion new age has become quite a bit of a religion in itself and where it's trying to lead people and today i've also received a very important message how once you break through this collective thing or an idea that we're going through this as earth or as a collective of these souls and these beings we're also trying to say at least a little bit of the part of the collective so we feel kind of safe 
because it is okay there's someone else out there right well what i've been going through myself in the past few months is total isolation and people might say oh if you're isolated right you are separated you're living in separation i'm not talking about the kind of separation because i was never separate from the divine but what I'm talking about is on a certain point of this Christ path, you do have to get away from the idea of the collective. Because, you know, let me give you one example. All my life, I've never received direct guidance from beings and teachers of light because they've saw me. They all saw me as also the original teacher of light. So they never once approached me by saying, you know, this and that. Even when I prayed and I've asked, what they did is what these beings, what we as light beings do, we hold the space of Christ so that one who is currently embodied can come into its own knowing. So these beings are only trained and skilled how to hold the space, like not giving too much away or not approaching one through this perception of, you know, being less than or, you know, it's okay because we're one as a group. Well, it is a feeling of safety but on earth when you come to embody the christ in form on earth you have to realize that you are alone and when i say you are alone it's like jesus walked alone he had disciples yes he had people who listened to him but his path he was alone he was truly alone but he was connected and i am in the same way connected to that one primordial source the one divine creator and this idea of that aspect of creator we know is the cosmic Christ or Christ, right? Has a certain um, has a certain fluidity how it moves into life, right? And what I've been going through in this past few months is total, like absolution. It's like withdrawal from what life is supposed to be and how it is you know people speaking about things now that are happening in the world i was really in it like everyone else but even though i've had this challenging path at spe specifically now in the last month this was very tribunal um it's like it was important because spirit wanted me to get on my own christ path like for real you know it, it wanted me to understand how alone i truly am that in that and embrace that aloneness instead of still trying to belong to a part of the group that's calling itself certain names and it's like you have to understand at a certain part of this initiation of christ you will have to realize that you are alone and you no longer apply to or life no longer applies by the same rules of the collective because you have to break through we have to break free from that the collective of Christ is simply or merely an expression for the collective of beings who are truly already naturally exuding this uh, vibrational state of consciousness and embodiment, whether physically in form or not. I'm currently physically embodied, you know, these beings of mine, family, they're not, but we're one. So that space of what we say, we're alone and being in unity is unity with God and through the aspect we know as Christ. Um, there are many stories also in the booklet that I've recently recommended to you. I hope to share with you one day this book. Um, it speaks about these challenges, right? How the dark is allowed to challenge the light. When you reach a certain point of awareness, you will be tested, you will be tried. And there's even this story, you know, like Satan or the devil, right? Um, tempting, uh, trying to, uh, you know, <laughs> sort of like confuse our beloved Jesus that was his example right how he walked the illusions he needed to surpass and see through and see beyond so in my life what started to happen is for the last two years this path actually started for me because before it was all about my training in the light within the light and then the darkness was allowed to overstep its boundaries and the divine allows and I'll explain to you why because this is the guidance I received when you embrace your um like solitary nature of Christ that even though you might say well there's many Christ beings on earth right now well the truth is again many faceted it is not all what you hear it's like it's something that can truly be received from within the pure state of that divine connection that is your true inner knowing not what you've read somewhere in this book that specifies how it is right now because the rules of the game are changing constantly as you can see because of the aspect of free will the divine this christ aspect has to constantly readjust and find new adjustments new spaces right so i was getting agitated not because of the ego component but i was agitated because it wasn't the truth what people started to say about oh or you're not in unity because you know this and that or you, you're not going alone through challenges but let me tell you i am going alone through my challenges 
It's the physical nature of Christ's embodiment that can only be achieved and reached in this aloneness. Well, space of unity applies to your union with the divine. You're always in one mint, whether you're being uh, trained within the light or probed through the dark. That's, I literally was probed, like literally, right? You know my story and my experience, those of you who've been here long enough. But the dark was allowed, and today I receive a very strong epiphany why this is so. So, first of all, before I reveal that, I want to share some more words about the nature of why we are here, those beings, and those who are stepping into their own Christ embodiment, because we're, we're being, um, right, right, we're kind of like showing the way so these beings are receiving uh, the impulse so they're starting to remember within and doing their own walk of life. Um, I was very sad yesterday. We went to the lake after quite a few days here in the hills and um, I saw something that I've never seen before and it was this white butterfly and I photographed it and in the next instant because just before we've talked about something how many have been killed off or they've been swallowed by the density of life or the 3d nature of life has like really engulfed them and we've been talking about this and suddenly we've channeled something we just received it and this white butterfly who was sitting on this beautiful um, leaf and i photographed it suddenly started to fly again and the moment it approached the water i've never seen this before but a, a fish came out of the water and it took the butterfly it was less than a second and it was a strong message of this being engulfed and then after that because i, I was saddened because they show me many things i'm not going to talk about here perhaps one day on patreon because it's very personal too as much as it is collective collective right and it's like um it's interesting because i know how spirit talks to me and it speaks to me through these nature occurrences that are sometimes are very much like you know, your, your jaw literally drops and I've never seen something like that. You know, I see fish coming up to the surface to get some flies, but never a white butterfly. And it was exactly just moments, instances before when we've been talking about how many have been cut off and they have even been killed. Let me just say it like it is. Because remember last year, I almost died, not once, but three times, and it continued into this year. So the revelation here was when I meditated upon this by the lake, these words came, which were very prophetic, and the words were, these were very sensitive times, very deeply sensitive times, and many, 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 it was repeated three times, have fallen. However, the new ones, will rise many new ones will arise with the dawn of the new day so um what we do as humans we often want to interpret these words what does this mean what does that mean we're not truly you know especially if you're not a prophet yourself um we're not here to do that i'm not a prophet myself i'm the the embodiment of christ but it's like it's just something we receive and we allow the source through its own beautiful nature the mystery of life to to work through us right but after that, something deeper was revealed to me, um, which was something about the very nature of also what I experienced myself. And I don't talk about it as deep here on my um, videos that are going out into the major streaming public. I've talked about it probably for the last year on Patreon when I've shared a lot of content about that is how difficult it got to the last point of my life. And there were even people within the group who were praying that I get out of that situation. They were, you know, helping me as well. They were helping to hold the space and learning about the space um, called this, this pure human compassion state. And what basically Jesus the Christ told me or told us in our meditation and the revealing part of this life was that now, even though it's difficult and we're kind of literally homeless in a way, or just going from one place to the next, not finding our center, not finding um, the stability of life yet, he said, you're, you're out of the um, mortal danger. But they really revealed to me that I was in mortal danger. And I know because I've never felt life worth leaving me before. And I had like three times and and the last time was very, very challenging. And after that, basically was right after we moved, I was meditating because my body had still severe pains and experienced tremendous nerve fatigue, exhaustion. And I've asked, I said, what is this about? And I've received instantly the word malignant. I got very freaked out because the word actually means cancer, right? A, a cancerous state of the body. And I freaked out. 
why did I get this word? Why did I get this word? And then I've asked my mom to reconfirm and affirm with uh, the guidance she often helps me with when I'm at my worst, experiencing the worst challenges that I have to go through in this life. And she said, it's a state of the body that's in this state. It's not like a cancer or a cancer yet. So <laughs> what happened is, you know, it's like so hard for me to talk about this because people, you know, who listen, there are people I don't know. And there's people like you probably watching people who think they know me and they don't. And, you know, it's people who get their own ideas about the words I, I bring out. And that's their own personal choice. I'm not here to judge anyone. But let me just tell you what I'm saying. I'm not a dramatic person. I never um, emphasize things in a dramatic way. But I always speak the truth, and the truth is I died almost three times. The, you know, the darkness has, it really, it's not like it just overstepped its boundaries, but in this cycle, was, it was a tremendous battle that people don't know. People think that this battle that's now happening, right, that's visible, that we can read about in the news, we can watch, you know, how the forces of, of dark and light are operating in a, a physical sense. However, those of us who are here as these light beings, we're not directly targeted in a sense of you know someone an agent coming to your doorstep and like you know tick 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 and putting a gun on your face these are very advanced skill trained beings and i've talked about them in many uh, videos and how they operate some are very dark fallen entities or um, angelics but they're fallen angelics and we actually receive training and we're kind of becoming a match through you know this example it's it's etheric and yet it, it influences our physicality so that's why it was kind of intangible in a way right to see this but severe pain that I've never had in this kind of way in that kind of uh, very weird sense before in my body and there were tremendous consequences that I've experienced but I've endured and today I've meditated and I said well can this just continue infinitely I can't just like because for the past few uh, months, I've only felt the feeling. It was a feeling in all my knowing because source, truly the divine God, Godhead, however you may wish to call the beautiful supreme nature of life, um, does not speak with, with human language or tongue and words. But it's like this instant overwhelming feeling of truth that it's like you just know and it's like this. For me, it's always been like that. If I don't know, I will always say I don't know. I don't go into trying to assimilate and, you know, go to different states of assumptions and conclusions. I just know when I know and I know when I don't. So when I know, it's like 100% for me. I've always been like that. It's like truth neither has been intact. So um, I've meditated on this because this just can't continue, right? I've already barely survived. What does this mean? So I've received this guidance that I'm, I'm, past this, I'm past this border when this is still possible, when this challenge of the dark can persist, can be, you know, can come at you in this way. But when you're truly the embodiment of the one who comes, not as a savior, it doesn't exist anymore. This is the new age, no one here is a savior. We are simply embodiers. And when one truly comes here to do this work, this is a constant work. It's not like someone writing a book or someone doing something physical, tangible with their hands, but this is incredible, a non-physical work that you can't talk about even you know, to anyone, whatever experience, you know, I, I still have to filter it in a way so it can come out in a way that it doesn't come out weird. And I know that for many people who don't understand this because they're not in it like I am, right? So it's very difficult when someone tries to be smart about it. I know, I really truly know that people mean well, but this is not about consoling someone and saying they're there, you know, there's others. No, in my honest experience, there's just me as the way I go through this and my own initiations. Okay, and what you go through, there's just you, there's just one like you. That's what the Christ wants to talk about today. But there is a collective of beings first who are already Christ beings who are here as missionaries at this time, and that there's beings who are coming again into this in this earth ascending lifetime and that there's those who know nothing about it and will not come into contact with it because it's not their time yet or they haven't chosen it. Okay, we already know that. But what I've received today was really kind of like epic, the way I've experienced it and why this was allowed to happen anyway. And I received something that well, kind of makes me teary inside. So what God, it was literally God revealing this to me today. 
um, because it came like such a strong knowing and we both cried afterwards and I said why does this even happen and I've almost seen like many of us coming here like God does not take chances right it's like oh you know everything is kind of like calculated so there is a percentage of beings who are in this path who come who've come who have been here some of us have even even been assigned as partners divine partners but we weren't able to come together again long story short i'm not going to talk about it here um there's many things on earth earth is very risky it is like a battlefield it's like sending your divine soldiers but we're not soldiers so i'm going to talk about this what the big reveal said today so out of these percentages sent off here um there's others who have to hold the space because they, they're constantly needing to work with those who come to earth as these pure beings imagine that you have to have a legion of light beings who, who keep supporting you throughout your lifetime because i told you even from the beginning before i was even born three times I, my mom always lost me to very weird scenarios and my life was always like that in the last moment i'm, I'm saved somehow by divine grace and even now um when i was just at the bottom of the floor already thinking well that's it that's it i'm coming home I'm, I'm dying something happened and something shifted me there was a tremendous assistance that i've had i don't always feel this assistance these beings my life family um they're not always allowed to make themselves known to me again there's something i can't talk about here and why this is so but they're there and what they've told me today is if they weren't here with me holding the energy i would not be alive today that's what they said they said literally you would not survive because yes i would develop cancer with the tremendous radiation these beings right were sending through me with the um difficulty that my body was was in itself experiencing as a stress of constantly trying to pierce through this and and couldn't and i had zero support it's difficult just me and my mother i don't have a wider circle of people physically and um, they told me that many of light beings also sacrificed themselves for me so that i could be physically doing this and you don't get the seriousness of it before you are in life danger like i was and i was never i mean i always had challenges you know in the darkness like all my life was kind of like trying to push stones you know in, in front of me and things like that and i don't talk about these things you know last year i said okay since it's patreon and it's a deeper cir circle of initiates i wanted to see feel and understand what this is about so i'm going to share my example but i've had to see people come and go all the time because people still judge and they still have this kind of like this is weird or this is false and it's because the truth the true the true truth meter still hasn't been developed within because on the other side there's people who might know nothing about you they don't know they don't need they do not need to know something deeply personal about you they read the vibration and they recognize truth because they themselves have activated enough light quotient so they do recognize the truth and once you're able to recognize truth it will be much easier for you to recognize falsehood that's why many people can't and they're being constantly thrown lies um masked as illusion and, and this is all spiritual and this and you know this false gurus and all this new age teachers that are not who they say they are and the world is is not our oyster all the time as you know this is a very um tricky situation we're now in so what they show me is that there's a lot of beings who actually although i don't feel them and i'm all a, a lot of times i'm crying that there's no one with me because i don't feel nothing i don't feel anything and they they tell me there's a reason why this is so it has to be very kind of covert mission and it's all very tricky they can't always explain it to me especially in the human terms of understanding that i'm now a human as you know and i'm walking this human christ embodiment which is totally different than being christ in your light being form right so they only revealed to me that without that i would surely already be dead and it was shocking for me to hear this but i I, I believe it because I did nearly die. It was three times. And the fourth one was when we moved. And when I moved, and it was actually, it was, it was like this, this close, right? And my mom was the only person who saw me that night. She said, I thought you're going to die. I saw you. you had zero life force left. But somehow something happened again out of the blue and we moved. But we didn't find a stable home yet, as you know. Um, we're still pilgrims in that way. And it just triggered a journey of a tremendous self-realization of why I'm here. Before all that 
which was my identity right there those seven years which was very important it was my training within the light and then in the last year was you know the training within the dark and how it functions and i've reached this lowest point and now the only thing can happen once you reach this if you're a true christ if you're a true christ missionary that's what happens you will be tested to the core and what happens is if you survive that and that's what, what the guidance of, of, of the divine in itself and God came through. If you can survive that, then you can know for sure, not just here on earth, but you know how to, it's like imagine jumping as a pure light being into the densest of darkness, but knowing how to come back again. That's what they show me. And I was seeing them almost today, like, oh, they're just gambling on me, like betting, right? Oh, how much, you know, you bet she's gonna make it or not. It was kind of like an internal <laughs> like being um, humor. But what God in itself has told me today, I was like, why? What's the bigger picture? Please show me the bigger picture. Why this is so, why are we even doing this? This is, this is difficult. This is so difficult for a human being who has to undergo this. It's, it's like constant torture for us. For it's like, there's a, a setting of time. Like this time is set aside for this. And this time it's like, you only will live in no darkness, right? And this is how my last two years looked. And it was getting like, like you thought well these are shades of darkness it's not just there's darkness period it's like you think it can get worse than that and then it does and you think well it can get worse than that and then it does that's how this is right and you're still there and everyone around you is is like making these videos talking about the collective and this and those presidents and that those events the christ has nothing to do with that that's the thing that's the unfolding of the clearing that was set to happen, was preset to happen on earth. However, those of us who came with this mission, it's like an independent, it's connected, it's seamlessly connected, but yet it's, it's completely different. It's like a whole new scope of, of the, the, you know, it's like the d dimension of this Christhood and what it came here to do, almost like separate from that. And yet it's not a separate thing from the bigger cosmic source perspective. So what God said to me today was e in, in each era, a very specific period a being or let's say a few beings not all of us will be known for what we did or our works probably in my case not at all <laughs> but they said in each era a few beings because again that has nothing to do with with the seen world right this is this is the mission that the divine sees and it's for the eyes of the divine and those few who are watching you like my family watches me all the time it's like a real live TV show for Christ beings. So um, what this is about, God said, is in each of these eras, a being comes to demonstrate to the dark that the power of Christ through divine love, right? The I am of pure source, not falling down to any misleading, um, any conquering, manipulating, distorting, even physically debilitating process that every skill and trick in the book, we already know that from the Bible, that what people call Satan or de demon, I don't know, devil, whatever, I don't even call it that. But whatever trick in the book can use, there is a being or a few of them who come in very specific periods to demonstrate to the dark that the Christ overcomes. And they told me that is your assignment in this life. I'm sorry, I'm crying again. It's not an emotional crying. It's a, a crying of knowing the truth when you resonate with the truth and you get emotional about it. But it, it was like, yeah, but, but why? And then God said, because when this is achieved, even if it's just one being or a few of them, which from our appearance, because look how many gazillions of us is here, right on the planet. It looks, oh, that's so small. It's not about that. It's the workings, right? It's, it's, it's the nature of the language of source, right? Light and dark, we don't always understand as humans. But God said, when this is demonstrated successfully, the darkness has to step, step aside again another step. It has to withdraw. So through the ages and ages, the darkness has been gradually, we don't see it with our eyes, right? It's not appearing like that. But those of us who are, prophetic in terms of our embodiment knowing for ourselves and again i'm saying i'm not a prophet like um i'm not signaling the words of the divine to the public 
but I'm embodying this. I'm walking my mission. I came here to fulfill the assignment I was given. And many times I said, why am I still here if it's so difficult? Why don't they just send me home? I can't suffer like this. This was my last year. Because since last um, winter, this winter, however you see it, right? All I wanted to do is just go back home and I wasn't allowed because I didn't see the whole picture. And now God in itself has shown me this demonstration and its power. And one being, when you do that, when you achieve that, when you demonstrate that to the dark, it's like, look, you might have done this and that and that. You've tried every single trick in the book because in my life, it's been every one of them, even leading to killing me off. And there's many methods and ways, but there's still, right, there's still this divine justice. It's only allowed um, until the point that there is this divine um, learning, divine purpose from it, right? Birth it from it. But as a human, you don't see it. You think, why would I be put at such risk? Does, does the divine not love me, right? These are the thoughts of our divine human. That's what I keep talking about, ascending as a human, that our human self, understands the workings of the Christ without any judgment and feeling it's been left behind or God is this vengeful being. But you have to be a very strong, powerful being to have such a faith in God and itself and its workings to understand yourself as a part of it, as a tiny part in this mosaic and yet a grand, grandiose part. So um, with this demonstration, right, it has to, it has to withdraw. And um, that's kind of like you can become, what many could say, untouchable, immortal. In many cases, this immortality, right, has been explained almost like your physical body becoming um, fixed in time. You can't die. Um, it's not what immortality is. Immortality can truly only be achieved through the spirit of Christ, which is the state of being. It's, it's total purity. It's total consciousness, it's total faith, it's total freedom of being, total liberty, complete grace and divine love. And it's not easy, right, to be a human and to have that. And this battle, right, so this is how the Christ is victorious. It's not, right, it's not, the light does not fight against the light demonstrates and when light demonstrates it keeps on persevering through it, it perseveres through it's not battling against right it perseveres through and with that right there's each time you persevere there's a new unlocking happening and then again and again this is how i'm shown this it's a very simple language to which i'm trying now to explain it but when i receive it like it's it's like a whole unpacking it's like Ta-da! Oh, wow. You, you just see it at once. All of it. All the beauty, all the difficulties, all at one minute, right? But it's, it's challenging to have this narrative and live with it as a human being because naturally you doubt it and you would say, it's just my imagination. But I have constantly so many confirmations all the time. I keep double testing. I keep asking and more and more and verifying and because that's how humble the Christ is. When you get your guidance and you would say, oh, I know this God has shown me without questioning it, you still have to question it. I'm not saying question God, but question the, the narrative through which it comes, this, this divine um, language, right? Because it's being filtered. And I want to say again, another difference between what I receive is not channeling. This is not channeled because as a channel, you don't have to be at that level of embodiment. Um, there's people who even still smoke and eat meat and, you know, drink alcohol and they're still channeling. Or, you know, you don't have to live a fully righteous and pure life and you, you can still channel. But receiving the word of the divine requires a lot of effort because I don't receive just by sitting down and meditating and yeah, you know, because I'm so connected, I just receive. It's like a whole process to it, the way you receive and in which source functions. It's like, first, I have to live through the challenges. First, I have to go through the initiation. Still, sometimes I will go weeks with silence, nothing, and I will still have to demonstrate nothing but faith. I won't have to, you know, just give up because I'm not getting it in the first moment or the way I want to, right? This is the Christ. This is how you are as a Christ being. And this is why people fall so easily for the darkness because it can give you and it can provide for you very easily, right? We all know the words hocus pocus. 
Um, they don't exist just out of nothing, right? Uh, they're not made out of thin air. So the way the divine workings, the way this is performed is you have to go through every one of the stages. And only at the last final moment, the divine will drop through you this crystallized wisdom because the feminine ray of, of source known as this feminine or Shekinah, this feminine wisdom speaks through those of us, specifically those who came here as feminine Christ embodiments. And uh, yeah, one day I'll go further in that. And I remember I still have that whole cosmic Christ course I talked about. I don't know how this will be or look like in the future, but for me, it's like a school of life. It's not something you can teach and demonstrate with a board, right? And writing on it like I used to do with other courses. This is like, it's bigger. It's, it's life itself. And it's so all encompassing. You, you, you can't even do it at just one week or weekend retreat. It's like the school of life. So it's something that when it's crystallized within me, I believe I will keep on giving within nuggets and nuggets, you know, gradually to people who really want to walk this path or feel they're part of this path. And I'm not trying to scare anyone. I'm just really having this pull and desire to tell it like it is. I can no longer hide what I am, what I go through, the difficulties of my life. I would wish it to be different and more easy and all of it. But there's a lot of beings who've sacrificed themselves, not just me coming here, but there's beings who are doing that out of love for a creator and its creation and the glory of what we're doing as a one being. And I need to speak the words of truth. I need to acknowledge all those beings and I need to speak these words as they are so that people who are still in that confusion and mislabeling, misinterpreting or having an idea, an idea is not necessarily the truth. It might lead you to one day pursue it in the correct manner, which is again, your own path. That's why it is still an individual path because there is no collective Christ and we're all going through this. There is no such thing. There isn't. Trust me how beautiful it is when you find yourself at the fringes of everything and you feel like I've, I've felt lately, especially in the last two months, like I exist out of this framework. Now everything like everyone is talking about and all these new age teachers and they're all presenting materials and everyone has an opinion over what's happening now in our world. And that's what this path is about. It's like we can do our work. We can, you know, the Christ, our mission here is to be this, this pure fountain of this love. And this unconditional acceptance and giving and heal ourselves and others. Sometimes you just do it by meeting someone and talking to them and you're already healing them. I've had instances of that happening and I meet someone after a few years and suddenly, you know, something happened and they tell me about it. It's like, wow, you know, just coming across and uh, it's so humble this path it's not like now we can all shift the world by becoming opinionated over what's happening you know we can have opinions we all do but that's not like that's not the core of it what this um, christ embodiment path is about so as you know i have a patreon page called Illumin ascension and it's also about this um path journey of mine because what else can i talk about but this this is what i was sent here but i'm currently on a little bit of a pause before we can really find a new stable place and we can call home for a while although home is for me only here but we are humans we need that otherwise we can't function right we can operate in this world of matter for now until i'm here so um it is what it is for now please again i would like to apologize for not like being able to deliver on patreon i'm going to try to do at least a little bit for the monthly tidbit like a tidbit right um but that's it and i hope to see you soon um and uh, i hope this was received well with purity and grace and intention of your heart if you're after watching this having any space in your heart that has anything else to say about me about what i share how i share how i speak how i come about my appearance um you know, just be aware of it and say, okay, I acknowledge that I still have that coming up. I'm not going to pretend this isn't there. That's fine because at least I'm going to be honest and truthful to myself and how I'm perceiving this. So I can one day come back to that clarity and being like a translucent crystalline lake when there's nothing but goodness in my heart and there's no other perception than seeing the Christ 
in unity in the eyes of the other through my own eyes and in the body and embodiment so those of you who wish to also support my work because i'm going through tremendous difficulties physically right now you can do so just by simply visiting my webpage set up light or just here on youtube find a donation section that's all just you know nonprofit as always <laughs> just uh to keep this going and to keep this channel alive because um it's interesting right uh it was about keeping me alive and i've also received the message they're trying to keep me safe right now because there's a lot of things so i'm not very sociable or i'm not very a part of what's happening um but i feel ready i feel ready to face the challenges of the physical world again going back to the valley i hope soon because here in the hills it's kind of boring it's beautiful in nature i know but it's kind of like oh my goodness i'm just not the kind of a person i also need like I need something to, you know, like the, my energy can flow and it can reach people and it can, you know, um, be in the, both ways that beautiful communication channels open so that your light can move into the world. So anyway, thank you for those of you who are already supporting me on Patreon. If you wish to join, I really hope that after this transition, I can be active there as well as I used to be in a different way, though, because my life changed a lot. I'm not the same person I was just a month ago. I'm, I'm more with Christ than ever before and um yeah the body might be it's difficult because again i still have these pains and i'm hoping that you know the divine will be able to heal it all i'm you know but it is what it is there is no guarantee there is no guarantee that's all i'm saying so as long as i'm still here i'm grateful for my life i'm grateful for you who are here listening to me so find the space of gratitude don't take things for granted if you're watching my videos for years don't take me for granted as well just think things with the with the deepest love you can and that will come back to you because it's all source it's all love thank you for being here as always with so much love wisdom and power and i'll talk to you next time again soon